I do actually want to take you out to some breaking news that we are following out of West LA. You can see what appears to be the end of a pursuit that did end in West LA with police saying that a uh, driver slammed into some LAPD cruisers. You can see a lot of cruisers there on the scene. Looks like our Fox LA team is on this, so let's pop up the audio on their newscast and listen in. I'm still trying to figure out why everyone has stopped in front of them, you know, still having no idea really what is going on. This all happened so quickly. We keep talking about the fact that this did last longer than you'd hope and that mm -hmm. the driver was at, at many points in this driving at a pretty slow rate of speed. But when you're the driver in the, the unsuspecting drivers in the cars just on the freeway, I mean, there were so many people that had a really scary moment this morning, even before we got to those final crashes. Just do, as you can remember, the car, just the van just swerving through traffic in the wrong direction. Yeah. And, and many points swerving enough to get in the right direction and still mm -hmm. then choosing to go in the wrong direction. Yeah. And, and there was no way that the CHP or any officers could try to stop it. it was I mean, they going tried so fast yeah. uh, in the wrong in, in the other direction. And even if they did some sort of a roadblock, uh -huh. if that van was able to keep going, it would just go right through any any roadblock. So you're looking at a live picture there now from the ground uh, again, that suspect in custody as as well and um, we can just glean from the way she's been behaving and obviously her erratic behavior there as uh, driving this morning during this pursuit that she is under some sort of a mental distress or perhaps under the influence of something and uh, she is now in custody and uh, certainly they will we'll try to to get her some help. But as you looked at that freeway there as well, uh, this is gonna be a big mess there on the 405 freeway at Wilshire, the northbound lanes. And it looks like all lanes of traffic are now blocked as this investigation continues. Only one lane currently open right now as uh, they try to clean up this mess and continue this, this investigation. And this will no doubt last uh, sometime this morning. Yeah, so just no question, if you can avoid this, please do because you don't want to get stuck in this. You will not get to where you're going uh, when you want to. Looks like they're bringing out the paramedics here. Mm -hmm. So this could either be, oh, it looks like they're gonna take the suspect uh, with the LAFD paramedic department there taking the suspect now uh, for, uh, for medical reasons. Obviously we did, we did notice that it did appear that she was injured physically in some way. Also it does appear that yeah, she has some, um, sure, yeah. some possible face injuries here as well. So. Uh, in custody, but also taking being taken away by the paramedics. Um, Stu, this is uh, this was just quite a morning uh, for for all of us as we as we watched that uh, vehicle uh, pour onto the 405. Oh, definitely, and it, it, it was uh, it was hair raising to say the least. Uh, and uh, LAPD, they the reason why all these vehicles were stopped out here was because LAPD actually did a traffic break. They actually brought all these vehicles to a stop so that the LAPD could try to bring that van to a peaceful end without this type of situation happening. But that van making that U-turn, crashing through some uh, uh, LAPD vehicles, and then making its way against traffic and creating that collision that you see right there from this angle from Sky Fox, you can really get an idea of that impact. That uh, gray car, that's the one that really took the brunt of that in impact and that van coming to arrest against that big rig. And we did see two uh, innocent drivers in, from their vehicles, you know, get out after that crash. But again, you know, they must be shaken up. Uh, the fire department was out here. They did talk to both of them and that suspect now being loaded into an ambulance because they're not going to take that person into custody right away they're going to bring them they're going to be in custody i can guarantee you that lapd is going to travel with that ambulance and then uh, they're going to make sure that uh, she is in, in in good enough shape to be in custody at the police station but uh, right now this is all starting to wrap up but while like you said while all this is going on there is a lot of paperwork to be done and uh, sometimes we make jokes about that but there is there's a lot of documentation that needs to go on mm -hmm. exactly what happened here who was involved who's all these cars are the drivers so this is going to be here for some time this is on the northbound 405 freeway right past Wilshire Boulevard and then, like you said one lane is open right now and you know that's going to create some problems for the morning drive if this is part of your drive like I always say you're gonna to have to find some kind of alternate so Paul but it probably is going to be a good take you can see it right there but uh, that's going to fill up very very quickly as that is pretty much the alternate that everybody's going to lean to but uh, hopefully they'll have
have this cleared up. But again, I just have to give hats off to LAPD. They did do an amazing job, even though it did look at some times almost futile as those yeah. LAPD vehicles were trying to bring this thing to a stop, that van, uh, doing what they could. But, you know, that is a larger vehicle. Right. Uh, and, and of too. course, we don't know what's in it. You know, that, that thing, could, it looks like a work truck. It could be loaded up with gear. That could be, you know, it, that could be a couple of thousand pounds worth of uh, cargo inside that van. It definitely seemed like it because an empty van would have just spun around when they made contact with the rear like that. So, uh, you know, whose car, whose vehicle that is, I'm sure that might come out later on as well. But that suspect in custody almost without incident. Uh, yeah, if, if people that, are uh, just now joining us, too, I think we're, let's pull up that video again so you can see how this all came to a stop because people are looking at the uh, the van and that big rig uh, head on there, the, that collision there. But let's watch this van again and you can the see last moments of uh, this. the number of cars that that van hit before coming to a stop there. And you know, you can see the driver of the second car, that sec that black car right there that was hit, the second car that was hit, just almost mm -hmm. immediately have the thought to get out of there. And something you just brought up, Stu, is just, you know, that driver initially, you know, because they're, the windows are side by side there, it's face to face with the driver causing all of this, and you have no idea what's in this van, no idea what's going on with this driver. And so the driver in that car that was hit just knew to get away, to get out of there. Stu, could you, you know, take us back a little bit as you were flying into what you saw, because I know this started with one officer, then an officer <coughs> requesting backup, and we saw, you know, a line of officers trying to do what they could at that point to stop this driver in this white van. Yeah, when we made it over the hill, they were still on on side streets. And then uh, I did hear LAPD actually say 10 vehicles, 10 officers in that pursuit. And when I heard that number, I was like, okay, this is a little unusual. Why do we have 10 vehicles? Usually they, they'll allow two, maybe three. Uh -huh. But in this case, they were talking about 10. And then it got onto the uh, 405 freeway. Uh, that made it easier for us to find it. We did made, we did pick it up with the camera. And uh, it, that van was moving along at a pretty good clip, like you said earlier on when it was on surface streets, not moving very, very fast, but when it did get on the freeway, at first it was probably going much faster than the freeway speeds, uh, LAPD in pursuit, but then everything really started to change once it passed Sunset Boulevard, and that uh, they tried to do pit maneuvers at high speeds on that van. That first LAPD cruiser, it got banged up pretty badly. That front suspension, uh, the, he lost the ability to steer that vehicle, the other other LAPD vehicles basically falling into place, getting ahead of, next to, and behind that vehicle, basically trying to box it in. But that driver keep making, kept making all these bizarre turns, and then that U-turn, that big mistake right there for for everybody was when that vehicle made that U-turn, going going southbound in the northbound lanes on that 405 freeway, and then LAPD, they were trying to protect the public. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why they stopped the cars, and they were all stopped right here, uh, keep making that freeway open for officers to do what they could to bring it to an end. But then that van just crashing through all of that. And it almost seemed like she picked that one silver vehicle and uh, that head-on collision. And again, we are so lucky that those civilians are not injured in a way where they w needed medical help right away. But like you said, Brooke, that person in that black uh, VW, that Jetta or uh, the, uh, GTI or whatever mm -hmm. it is right there, Golf, that one, he you know that's an L.A. person because saw what was going on and just jumped out that driver's side door, tried to get to safety as quickly as possible. Uh, LAPD swooped in as they, they got out of their cars knowing that that van not moving and then that driver still acting erratic, got up on that van, started doing some grandstanding as it would be, getting up onto that big rig, but that's when it all kind of came to an end. With, with so many pursuits that we cover, Stu, and we, we know, I think everyone in Southern California by now knows the pit maneuver and and you have to do it, it has to be done at a certain rate of speed. And the, and the driver in pursuit has to actually be going in the same direction. And that is the, the, the extreme difficulty that these officers had this morning when you have this driver not going straight, but sometimes turning around, trying to ram other police cars, doing donuts and things like that. Uh, there's no way of knowing where the vehicle was going to be. So how do you stop a vehicle like that, especially a heavy vehicle right. like that, and then uh, and then try to box it in, in in a safe manner? It was just so, so, so dangerous. 
Uh, uh, very. And, and again, we didn't know, and I'm sure law enforcement didn't know either, what if that driver was armed. Uh, how desperate was that person? You know, clearly desperate enough to go head on into an innocent person's vehicle while trying to get away, crashing into law enforcement. And then there was also that appearing to be taunting the officers, almost coming to a stop a couple times on the freeway, allowing officers to get close enough, but then trying to drive off, playing that weird game of cat and mouse. So, you know, in the end, this is the this is how it came to an end. Sad to say, there was there is a lot of damage probably some minor injuries but again it, i believe that this is probably you know one of the best outcomes you know nobody oh, no nobody's question. passed away nobody's there there's not there's no fatality or risk of, you know or critical injury uh, everybody's up walking around and that suspect in custody you know the people who are going to really suffer this morning are the people on the 405 freeway let's just take a quick peek i i know we're not doing traffic yet but wow yeah. Yeah. look at that yeah, that does not look good. So traffic obviously backed up, as we mentioned, for, uh, I would say, miles upon miles. But that was our Fox 11 LA team, as they do continue to cover all of this. Gigi Graciette, who is a reporter there and joined us live quite a bit, posted this photo here on X or Twitter, depending what you call it. She said this is the pursuit suspect who, for 45 minutes, led LAPD in a pursuit, slamming her van into patrol cars multiple times, causing at least one officer to crash and then crashing head on into innocent drivers on the 405 freeway.